Well, state leaders believe we may have reached that peak of COVID-19 cases in Mississippi, but they warn those numbers may take a while to begin going down. 16 WAPT's Scott Simmons covered the governor's news conference this afternoon, and Scott joins us live at 5 with the latest. The state leaders say the number of hospitalized cases shows that plateau, but certainly no indication that we'll be looking at any sort of quick decline. Uh, there has been a decline, though, in the number of people on ventilators and in ICUs at hospitals across the state of Mississippi. There are more help. Uh, there are more people, though, being tested, and those numbers coming in while are still high. They can be from tests taken as long as a week ago. State officials say this is not the time to start letting our guard down in this plateau stage of battling the virus standpoint of the United States, it seems very, very clear that the peak has come and gone. And while there are still significantly new number of cases across the country, uh, we are seeing significantly less new cases on a day over day basis. What we have seen is a peak that is much that's not nearly as high or nearly as steep, but it's also probably a plateau more so than a steep peak. The state's shelter in place order runs through this money. Monday, the governor made it very clear today, even if that order does expire, it does not mean an end to the social distancing guidelines that have been in place since before this order. That means even after that order ends, people will still be expected to keep that six foot buffer and have no more than groups of 10 people together as they continue to wait for this plateau to start a steady decline, hopefully soon, in the state of Mississippi. In Jackson, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News. Yeah.